style and luxury, style and practicality, style, practicality and sports. So what we need to complete the fleet is something with none of these attributes. So I bought this. What is it you ask? Well, it's an Aussie. This is a Dixon Terror. That's T-E-R-R-A, not T-E-R-R-O-R. It has no style. It has no sports. It has no practicality. It has no brakes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it has actually got some brakes. All right, so it wasn't running very well. The CVT, yes, it has a CVT, a centrifugal CVT on it. An adjustable V-band, um, no, centrifugal V-band, but the weights were actually, as it uh, spun up, were hitting this cover here and the surround, which is the original thing. It has a, a different motor in it. The original motor was a little two-stroke, probably a Kirby motor with that CVT. It now has a 200cc Chonda motor in it, um, which is probably wildly too powerful for the for the frame well the handling attributes being a generator type motor that is idle and that is full throttle <laughs> so there's not a lot of adjustability there what's the plans with it okay so first of all we need to get rid of that plastic piece of crap and get a, a, a decent tank we think a little peanut job recover the seat um, Redo all the chrome. I think polish up the triple clamp here. Redo all the chrome and the, I know these look like shocks, but they're not. They're just tubes with a spring in it. Repaint the wheels, give it a, a, a really cool paint job. Maybe some metallic red on the chassis. Get Elliot to do some crazy job on the tank. Now it's been suggested that we could do this. I mean, there's a couple of ways you can go with it. We could do a Volso sort of a deal with some Pikachu pipes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's cool though. But the brake does actually work now. It's only got a brake on the back. There is a, a there were models of this that came out with a brake on the front too. But this doesn't have it. Um, yeah, fun sort of a thing. So I think that the, the plan with it is A, uh, not to crash and burn and die, and B, I think we'll just make it look really cool and ride up to the shops and get lunches and get booked by the police. Fun to ride. In a death defying sort of a way. <laughs> As good as the brakes get. Another death defying mission complete. In life, as you've heard me say before, you learn things by doing them. So, I bought a Carby thinking that um, this would make my little mini bike faster, and what it did was make it not go at all. Uh, and I learned that they have a governor in there. Now, I thought the governor was just some stop that would stop the car be opening so far, but it's not. And this is why we have to do this. Engine. So, there is a, this thing here, which um, the, the throttle was pivoting on. And that's a governor apparently down the inside as I learn uh, looking up other people's stuff on YouTube. <laughs> so I've got to do what's called a governor delete. See I took this off and it actually fell down, it dropped down inside and I went to start it 
and it came to about there and just stopped. Lucky I didn't give it a big yank, you know, because I always sort of, go and, when I've done something, go to turn it over a bit first. And it, it just stopped dead. So, and that's why I just I started doing a bit of look. And Elliot said they, they, they've got a governor on them somewhere because he's read something about it. G, GX 200 motors or whatever the hell this thing is. Um, yeah. So there's something uh, down in there that governs how fast the bloody thing can go. And to get to it, we've got to take all this stuff off. Now, drain the oil out of it. The oil um, hasn't been changed in 10,000 years. I think it was original dinosaur when it went in because it's sludge now. So it needs an oil change anyway. We'll give it a bit of a clean up and uh, learn how to do a governor delete. Apparently it makes them go faster too. Just what we need. More power and a mini bike have already crashed. All right, before we start that, I thought I might show you this little gadget. Um, this is a... CVT that goes on there, centrifugal CV, uh, CVT, quite clever actually. So as it spins, these weights fly outwards and push that, with that spring and this gunk out the way and this thing out the way, we'll be able to show you better. So as that spins, let's these sort of sit out like that with your V-bird around, as that spins that pushes this one inwards and changes the um, the ratio. The belt moves outwards and it gives it a higher ratio. So there you go. Prehistoric CVT, centrifugal CVT. Press steel and bits of bits of metal. <laughs> simple and effective. These are a pretty simple little gadget. Yeah, down in there. There's our governor down the bottom there. The little arm that I had here a minute ago. Yes. Um, I did get a, give it a bit of a yoink and bent it, that's why it wouldn't come out. But that sort of works on an angle down on this thing down and there, which these fly outwards and that pushes up and down. So, and there's also, um, basically it's joined the, joined the dots here. This is your cam. There. And look, on the back, we've got some weights that fly out. VTEC yo. It's actually not. Um, what it does is, if you can see here, while it's spinning slowly, that will actually open the exhaust valve and decompress it. So it's, you decompress it while it's working. Once it starts to speed up, it moves it out of the way. Right? Speeds up, moves it out of the way. Well, you go. So simple as buggery. I will show you a couple other things while we're here too. This. A little gizmo here sticking on the side of the crank um, of the conrod is it dips into the oil bar and the oil down the bottom and flicks it up onto the that's that's the oiling system just to flick oil system now the other thing that we've removed here is this little gadget and that lives uh, normally down the bottom down in there so what that is is a, a, a low oil uh, switch which you know on a stationary engine makes sense it was just sitting there but on uh, mini bikes or go-karts or, or that sort of stuff um, with jumps and whatnot that will cut your engine out so what people generally do is overfill them to buggery um, which was what this this one I, I took the um, the dipstick out and you basically couldn't fit any more oil in it so Anyway, so that's out now. Um, and what we've got to do, we've got to plug a couple of holes. So we've got, uh, let's pull it up. We've got this one here, which is the one down from the top. And I figured we'll just put a bit of gasket and a six mil bolt through and a nut on the top with some Loctite, and that should be fine. And this is where the wire came through for, uh, for that low oil gizmo. And this, I've got to take that off as well. That's part of it. Um, just unplug it and take it off. Um, apparently is the go, yeah. And there's supposed to be three washers that um, come off and I've got two and I still have to take that gizmo down there out and apparently you just get a screwdriver and bash it in the um, the little circlip until it bends its way out and uh, pop it off that way. 
if you're pulling the governor out of this thing and all the other stuff, this is what you want to see. There's, we're missing one thing. So there should be three washers. The other one is the one off there. I lost that earlier. It fell on the floor somewhere. So I don't know where, where the hell it is. This is the little metal um, circlet that goes around the bottom of there. And basically you just have to bash it until it splits and then this thing will come out. So that's out now. That's the little plastic thing on the top that the lever actually runs on. So that's the governor out. Should be two washers. This gizmo here, I just cut the end off that. Now, what I've done is I put my bolt through from the bottom there, nut on the other side. And then the original, see this plastic thing out down here? Down there. This, and that's the other side of it there. I've basically put a bit of welding wire into the hole and glued it in with some gasket gunk to work a treat. All right, so now we're up to putting this thing back together. I'll throw a bit of oil in the thing. Penrite. Not because we're sponsored by them at all, just because Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. And it's just bloody good oil. If you're pulling this, this apart and taking all that stuff out that I did, you need all this stuff and you need those three washers. If they're still in there, they will fall out and you won't have a fun day. Anyway, in the bin. You know how this goes, don't you? So you give it a pour and you wait, and you give it a little pour and you wait, and you give it a big pour and it overfills to buggery. I suppose if it's over full too, I could just tip it over and pour a bit out. Oh, perfect. I'm interested to see where this card works now because I, I got onto the forum and there's a couple of guys going, oh, such and such a size doesn't work and it's better if you get a such and such a size. And I don't know what size motor they've got. And they reckon the air filter sticks out too far, but I reckon it's cool. Motorcycle. Here we go. I've got a couple of bolts and we just need to give them a bit of a tighten up. I gave Marty from Mighty Car Mods a ride on this last week and he reckons it's the funnest thing I've ever taken over there. When we first got this, the weights on the clutch were actually clobbering the inside of the cover. So yeah, it was making a hell of a racket. Just needed a bit of bending things around to get them in the right place. And that was good. Had to make myself a foot peg. It's just a bit of flat bar, but we'll weld some stuff on that and put a rubber over the top of it. Should be fine. Hmm. All right. So I didn't film putting the exhaust on. That was the first thing that I did. A little bit hard to get to, but yeah, it's on now. So we just put the clutch back together and she should be good to go. Because the, di the engine is a different engine, this is all in a different place. It's got a different belt on it. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is down there. I think some sort of a clutch, but I think, why would you need it with this? This is the way I figure it goes. So that one's, that one goes on there first, because that looks like it's had a belt running around it. You know, it's got that look to it. Okay, so, and the belt goes over there. Now the problem was having, because I, I couldn't get this onto there, because this belt, didn't have any leeway. Okay, so we need a bit of a gap there. And this guy's got to go on. And that one goes on there, like that, so that we can't go in too far. the way it goes. All right, before we put the cover back on, we'll try starting it up and see if it actually works. All right. Oop. <laughs> Turn it on. It wants to go. You know what I think? I think that the idle is just a little no, and they set these things and put a bit of paint on them, but that just doesn't want to go. Let's try. Half a turn, which is probably too much, but we'll see how we go. It wants to go. Ooh. Oh, 
Okay, is that clutch working? Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's get that cover on and we'll kind of have a bit of fun with it. Should have really put a new spark plug in it as well, but I didn't think of it at the time. Note yourself, don't sit at the back of the seat. <laughs> Crap, this is a lot faster. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. There you have it folks, another success story from Barrel Brothers. <laughs> yeah, see you next time. Jeremy Clarkson was right, you know.